Hi, my name is Tina Ho, and I'm a member of Group 7. In the following slides, our group will give a brief overview of the development of the autonomous robotic vacuum, as well as provide a video demonstration of the robot's major subsystems. Project Summary The goal of this project is to develop an autonomous robotic vacuum that will be used in away-from-home applications such as hotels and offices. The device will recognize and avoid obstacles, map each room upon entry, create optimal paths for navigation, and return to its docking station upon low battery. Our team will implement intelligent code onto a Raspberry Pi, as well as program the robot using SLAM. SLAM, or Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, is a method that allows autonomous vehicles to map its environment and localize its own position simultaneously. Based on the data gathered from the map, the robot will use that information to carry out tasks such as path planning and obstacle avoidance. With the help of SLAM, the robotic vacuum will also avoid cleaning in the same area more than once to optimize battery usage. For our prototype, our team will be using the iRobot's Create2 Roomba and RP Lighter Sensor. Both devices are connected to a Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi is connected to a power bank. As mentioned earlier by my colleague, we will be implementing SLAM in order to achieve our goal of mapping and localization, path planning, and autonomous return to dock function. Um, we will visit these later as we progress through this presentation and you'll be able to see a brief demonstration of each of these subsystems. Um, our approach is fairly simple. We want the robot to be aware of its surroundings in real time navigate its environment, follow a set path plan, as well as improving the basic docking behavior. Um, the obstacle avoidance and detection falls under mapping and localization, as we will use this light laser data from the LiDAR sensor to highlight objects that may obstruct the robot's path, and also to remember where that object is to avoid it in the future. Uh, by request of our sponsors, we will implement wall following, which is basically, as the name suggests, the robot gliding uh, alongside the walls of the room, and the snaking pattern, which is basically just a zigzag formation of the robot going from one end of the room to the next um, for path planning. Additionally, this, is, this will also help with keeping a log of where the robot has cleaned and its current state. Uh, we do also plan on improving the robot stocking behavior by developing an algorithm to have the robot return to its stocking station upon low battery autonomously. The block diagram. The docking station serves as the home base for the robot. The battery provides power to the robot and components. In the robot, the vacuum motor collects and sends debris into the dust collector. The motor driver controls the wheel driving motors in the control units. The microcontroller controls the robot's action, acting as its brain. It contains certain functions like obstacle avoidance, return to dock, and mapping. The sensors provide the microcontroller information on the surroundings, allowing it to make a decision based on that information. Pin diagram. Starting on the left, the robot pin diagram. Both pin 1 and 2 under the name VPWR is the Roomba's battery. Next is pin number 3, RXD, which is the ro robot's inputs. Next is pin number 4, or TXD, is the outputs for the robot. And pin number 5, BRC, is which the robot can receive information. And finally, six and seven are both the ground for the robot. Next is the RP lighter. From top to bottom, we start at the ground for the RP lighter or scanner. Next is the RXD, which is the input for the scanner. Next is the TXD, which is the output for the scanner. Next is the VCC, which is the power for the LiDAR, and the ground is for the LiDAR's motor. Mode CTL is, enables the signal for the LiDAR motor, and finally the V mode is the power for the motor. 
In this slide, I will be discussing the four subsystems that are included in our project. The four subsystems are mapping, path planning, obstacle avoidance, and a docking station. The first subsystem, mapping, uses the RP LiDAR A1 sensor to build a map of a surrounding environment using Hector SLAM. The next subsystem is path planning. A wall following and snaking pattern algorithm will program the iRobot to follow the base of a room and break into a snaking pattern once the base is completed. The obstacle avoidance subsystem will use the RP LiDAR A1 to help the iRobot detect objects and prevent collisions. The last subsystem will be a smart docking station that will allow the iRobot to return to its charging station under two conditions, when the iRobot is low on battery health or after completing the task. Mapping using an RP LiDAR sensor. So in order to map a room with the Roomba, our team used an RP LiDAR A1 in Hector Slam. Hector Slam is a ROS package that allows the RP LiDAR to perform simultaneous localization and mapping to build maps of its surrounding environment. On the right hand side, you can see that the RP LiDAR has produced a map of the kitchen and as it moves, it's attempting to create a more accurate representation of the area. The red dots you see on the right screen are the walls and obstacles detected by the RP LiDAR and if you look closely, you can see the green line following the robot model. The green line represents the path the robot traveled to reach its destination and we will be using that to integrate autonomous navigation for the robotic vacuum. On the left hand side, you can see the actual robot moving. The robot is controlled by using a keyboard. Obstacle avoidance with the RP LiDAR A1. In this demonstration, you are seeing the iRobot in real time on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you're seeing the RVIS software, which allows us to see the map that is created, along with setting a navigation goal for the iRobot to move towards while using the LiDAR sensor to avoid collisions with obstacles. Path planning and navigation. So here we have the robot initiating its wall following sequence where it glides along each wall. And please excuse my colleague here. Uh, each time, because of the material of the carpet, the robot, you can see it averting from its path to go more diagonally. So we just have to adjust it to go more straight from time to time. But here, once we have the robot complete its wall following alg algorithm, then it will enter what we call the snaking pattern. So here, once it gets into the snaking pattern, it begins it a more of a zigzag motion where it goes from one end of the room to the next, um, almost simulating a rectangle. And this is more efficient as it covers more of the room and it does not repeat place that is already cleaned. Um, in the future, we would like to in implement localization with this to increase efficiency. Return to docking station. In this demonstration, the robot will return to the docking station when its battery life is below 80%. The purpose is so that the robot can return to the docking station and recharge or it has completed its task. 